the LFC cast in association with lfconline.com. Please like, share and subscribe. Hello guys, my name is Dan and this is the post-match discussion of the Liverpool 2-1 win against Crystal Palace in the FA Cup. What a game, very exciting. Today, it's just me guys, I'm just doing the podcast on my own and we're going into a bit of a transition phase at the moment. Things may be different for the time being, you'll just be listening to me. Uh, And also, we'll be just doing post-matches, not previews. So, let's make the most of it. If you want to continue just listening to me, please do. And also, I'll interact with you guys a lot more, see if I can get your opinions about the game. So, how did I think the game went? I thought we played really well in that game. I thought, you know, we had that great passing style. I first thought it was going to be one of them typical FA Cup games where... You know, we just get beat, they scored first, and I just thought, oh no, it's going to be one of them games. But we were resilient, and I think at half-time, Rodgers made some excellent changes to to bring the game back. Um, I thought that Emery Chan had a good game, I thought that a few people had a good game as well. Alan actually had a good game. Now, I've never been a big fan of Alan, you know, I've always said he, he does a basic job. You know, he's not great, he's not as good as me, but you know, who is? Um, but I think that he actually played solid, especially towards the end of the game. He held the game, he was good passing, great on the ball, and I think he did well in Lucas's absence. My biggest worry was that, you know, Henderson and Allen in them back defending roles might have been a bit dangerous, and, you know, obviously we were prone to concede them two there. But we done well, and also it's nice to see Sturridge get a goal. I think Sturridge is, you know, an excellent player, and to see him finish and, and see him getting his fitness back was another great thing to see. Was there any bad performers in the game? It's hard to say. I don't think anyone played truly bad. I actually think that Emery Chan didn't have his best game for Liverpool in the, in, today. I just felt he wasn't as good on the ball and, you know, he made a couple of mistakes defensively. But he's a young guy. He's not going to be consistently excellent. And we all need to realise that, don't we? Uh, I thought Sacco had a brilliant game. He's solid, and it's nice to see someone rejuvenate his career at Liverpool FC. You know, last season, or even earlier this season, people were booing him. People were saying, like, you know, you walk out against Everton. It was ridiculous. You know, everyone said, you can't walk out against Everton. And that was his last game for Liverpool. People were saying, but look at him. He's rejuvenated his career. The fans were singing, Sacco, 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 throughout the game, which was great. It was nice to hear. And he's doing really well. Another person who I think is doing really well and done well against Crystal Palace is Mignolet. He's just had a resurgence in form and maybe getting dropped has, you know, been a bit of a kick up the arse for him, you know what I mean? Uh, I think that it's helped his career a lot and he, he seems solid, you know. I don't think it was his fault that we conceded the goal. Maybe he could have come out a bit faster. Uh, but overall, even when them corners and crosses were coming in, he was making punches at the right time, he was making catches at the right time. Another good thing that I noticed was Balotelli coming on and actually having a good game again. Uh, hopefully, we can start seeing a Balotelli that we thought we'd signed, that you know, a class player. But we don't know. He's a bit of a mystery. He's a bit of a myth, Balotelli. Is he class? Is he crap? Is he just score worldies now and again and just doesn't do anything else? He's playing well and it looks like he wants to be in the team and he wants to try for the team. It's his last chance of his career, to be honest with you. So, you know, he's got to do something. Uh, and I think that, you know, this is his chance. You know, him and Sturridge could form a partnership up front. Uh, coming on to Sturridge, I think that Sturridge played well again. Um, also, you know, that goal, he, he finished it well. A good run, running off the shoulder again and putting it in the back of the net. Excellent play from him. Coutinho, for me, I didn't see much of him. He's a great player. He's class, but he, he just seems to be a bit swamped out in this game. Who is my man of the match then? You're all wondering, saying, Dan, who is your man of the match? Oh, it's a tough one because I don't think anyone played really bad. You know what I mean? So it's like, can I pick everyone as the man of the match? No, I don't think I can. Okay, so I'm going to pick for my man of the match, Sacco, 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 as the fans were saying. The amazing away fans, by the way. I thought Sacco deserves this man of the match. And also in the comments below, let me know who you think your man of the match is. Uh, And also put some discussions uh, about what you thought about the game. And I'll read some out in the next post-match game. Uh, Okay, guys, we'll keep this short and sweet. Uh, I hope you'll enjoy listening to this still. I hope I still made sense. Um, We'll see what happens in the future. We're going to continue doing post-match, just me for the time being. And also, I might start doing blogs, you know, like videos, me actually talking to the camera instead of doing it in a podcast style. So you never know, these podcasts might just become videocasts soon. Uh, Hopefully, 
Things will be bright and r- glorious in the LFC cast future. I'm sure it will be. Guys, thank you for listening. Please like, rate, and subscribe to the channel. That'd be great. Goodbye.